after studying this module you shall be able to know the various problems which are associated with the term alcohol intoxication you shall also be able to know about the dry days and the legal age of drinking in various states of india you shall be able to understand the concept behind the term public intoxication and you should be made familiar about the drunk driving laws and the provisions of ipc that is indian penal code regarding the intoxication intoxication with alcohol is the basic theme of certain charges such as drunk and misconduct or drunk driving however in various other crimes intoxication can impose a much complicated issue of the criminal liability about 60% of the property and violent crimes are committed after consuming a drug including alcohol under the 7th schedule of indian constitution alcohol is mentioned as a subject matter in state list thus regulations regarding alcohol vary amongst different states so this is very important that as per the different states you should be aware about these regulations in india liquor is usually sold in hotels liquor stores pubs etc some states like tamil nadu prohibit the ownership of liquor stores by private parties in certain states departmental stores groceries banquet halls etc are free to sell liquor so you can see there is so much difference in different states in india and you should be aware about all these giving special reference to the capital of our country that is delhi home delivery of alcoholic beverages is not permitted but home delivery of wine and beer is permitted on the other hand it is completely legal to sell beer at farm houses departmental stores and banquet halls when we are talking in context of delhi alcohol plays a role in the commission of countless crimes otherwise not considered alcohol related but the alcohol component is very very important four offenses in particular that is driving under the influence of alcohol which is abbreviated as dui minor in possession of alcohol open container and public intoxication so these are the four offenses in particular which are directly referred to as alcohol related crimes dwi that is driving while intoxicated it is the most serious of these four and carries the most severe penalties minor in possession laws that is dealing with the minor who are not adults if they are having possession of alcohol these laws are actually meant to educate young people about the potential dangers of drinking open container laws which vary by state and local ordinance serve several purposes including the prevention of drunk driving further laws prohibiting the public intoxication they are intended to prevent offenders from disturbing or harming others in public to dry days those specific days when the sale and purchase of alcohol is banned are known as dry days in india national holidays republic day gandhi jayanti and independence day are dry days festivals of different states are also declared as dry days these are fixed by the respective state governments these dry days are observed to maintain peace and order during the festival dry days are also observed near election times now moving on to legal drinking age 
in various states of India. As indicated clearly in the table, different states have different age specified for legal drinking. Some states, on the other hand, like Gujarat, completely prohibit alcohol consumption. Public intoxication. Public intoxication is an offense related to display of drunkenness in public places. Laws and ordinances at local as well as state levels consider public intoxication as an offense. A person is guilty of the offense of public intoxication if he appears to be intoxicated either by alcohol or any other drug in a public place to such an extent that he may cause any harm to the body or property of himself or of any other person. The only defense available for the prosecution of public intoxication is that administered drug was taken therapeutically under the prescription of a licensed physician. Laws related to public intoxication vary widely among countries. In this context, the term public usually refers to the outdoor spaces like parks, roads, etc. Even though places like pubs, bars, etc. are open for public, still drinking there does not constitute an offense in some countries such as india and in larger regions like predominantly muslim populates drinking in public is totally banned on the other hand in some countries like spain germany uk etc drinking in public is acceptable socially Offence of public intoxication may be punished by short-term imprisonment or fine or both. It is not the blood alcohol concentration or BAC that defines the public intoxication. Rather, the disruptive behavior of the abuser is the key. This concept is very well distinguished from that of driving under intoxication as that chiefly depends upon BAC. In legal context, BAC is required to determine the seriousness of the offense and thus helps in fixing the penalties. The following is an example of a local ordinance dealing with public intoxication. Public intoxication, a person commits the crime of public intoxication if he appears in a public place under the influence of alcohol, narcotics or other drug to the degree that he endangers himself or another person or property or by boisterous and offensive conduct annoys another person in his vicinity. b. Public intoxication is a violation. Legal aspects of intoxication. Alcohol is one of the most commonly consumed intoxicating substance all over the world. The legal aspects can be summarized. First, licensing laws. WHO has recommended that governments should reduce the consumption of alcohol by making its availability difficult. Directive principles of state policy of Indian constitution also put some prohibitions. According to Article 47 of Indian constitution, the state shall regard the raising of the level of nutrition and standard of living of its people as among its primary duties and in particular, the state shall endeavor to bring about prohibition of the use except for medicinal purposes of intoxicating drinks and of drugs 
which are injurious to health as alcohol comes under a subject matter in the state list of the Indian Constitution every state has the legislative power to make the policies regarding alcohol prohibition was introduced and then withdrawn in Andhra Pradesh and Haryana in the mid 1990s it applied to Gujarat with partial restrictions in other states like Delhi in Delhi excise department controls the liquor sale retail supply of alcohol is regulated by Delhi liquor license rules 1976 it prohibits consumption and service of liquor at public places this also prohibits employment to any person or male under the age of 25 years or any female at any licensed premises either with or without remuneration in part of such premises in which legal or intoxicating drug is consumed by the public similarly Bombay Prohibition Act 1949 prohibits the manufacture production importation position exportation use sale purchase transportation and consumption of all intoxicants next moving on to drunkenness drunkenness may be defined as the physiological state induced by the consumption of alcohol in which the person loses his self-control and thus becomes unable to execute his doings on which he is engaged at that time section 84 of the bombay prohibition act 1949 provides that any person who is found drunk or drinking in a common drinking house or is found there present for the purpose of drinking shall on conviction be punished with a fine which may extend to 500 rupees section 85 provides that any person found drunk and incapable of controlling himself or behaves in a disorderly manner under the influence of drink in any street or public place or in any place to which public have or permitted to have access shall on conviction be punished with imprisonment for a term which may extend to one to three months and with fine which may extend to 200 to 500 rupees drunk driving laws across the world the acceptable value of BAC varies among different countries as BAC rises there is a gradual decline in the driving skills due to impaired concentration over confidence increased reaction time degraded muscle coordination and decreased auditory and visual sensitivity BAC limits are fixed at 0.03 percent or 35 microliters alcohol in 100 ml blood in India. The Motor Vehicles Act 1988 is an act of the Parliament of India which regulates all aspects of road transport vehicles. The act came into force from 1st July 1989. It took the place of Motor Vehicles Act 1939 which earlier have replaced the Motor Vehicles Act 1914 the act provides in detail the legislative provisions regarding registration of motor vehicles licensing insurance permits traffic regulation state transport undertakings offense liabilities and penalties
Next, we move on to the important sections. Section 112. It prescribes the maximum speed at which each class or type of motor vehicle can be driven. Section 113. The driver should not drive a vehicle exceeding the weight permitted to carry. Section 129. A person driving a motorcycle shall wear helmet. Section 134. Duty of driver in case of accident and injury to a person, including securing medical attention for the injured person and reporting to a police officer or at nearest police station within 24 hours. Section 185. Driving by a drunken person or by a person under the influence of drugs is prohibited. In Motor Vehicle Act, the Union Cabinet approved changes on 1st March 2012 according to the revised provisions. Drunk driving would attract higher penalty and jail terms, fines ranging from 2000 to 10,000 rupees and imprisonment ranging from 6 months to 4 years. Drunk driving will be graded according to BAC. BAC less than 30 mg per 100 ml does not constitute an offence. However, if it is between 30 to 60 mg per 100 ml, it would attract a penalty of imprisonment of 6 months and or 2000 rupees fine. When BAC is 60 to 150 mg per 100 ml, it would be punished with imprisonment of 1 year and or rupees 4000. If the offence is repeated within 3 years, the penalty would go up to 3 years imprisonment and or 8000 rupees for those who are found heavily drunk with alcohol levels of over 150 mg per 100 ml of blood the penalty will be 2 years imprisonment and rupees 5000 repeat offence within a 3 year period will attract a penalty of 4 years jail and fine of 10,000 rupees besides cancellation of license. Next, moving on to alcohol advertisements. Under Cable Television Network Amendment Bill, advertisement of alcoholic beverages has been completely prohibited in India. Alcohol companies are often permitted to advertise by the private channels by adopting the alternate means like selling the brand name for water, soda, etc. But the government is strictly follow the rule and does not permit the broadcasting of such advertisements on its channel Doordarshan. Now moving on to provisions of IPC regarding intoxication. Chapter 4 of general exceptions of the IPC 1860 exonerates such persons who are incapable of judging the nature and consequences of the acts done by them. Involuntary intoxication is a defense to the wrongdoer. Sections 85 and 86 of chapter 4 explains the provisions pertaining to the wrongful acts done under the influence of intoxication. Law considers drunkenness as a species of madness for which the man is to be blamed and should therefore be condemned. However, the different arise in the situation on the basis of knowledge and will of intoxication. Thus, Drunkenness is either voluntary or involuntary. The latter 
can be excused under certain circumstances, but the former is no excuse. Section 85. Act of a person incapable of judgment by reason of intoxication caused against his will. Nothing is an offence which is done by a person who, at the time of doing it, is by reason of intoxication incapable of knowing the nature of the act or that he is doing what is either wrong or contrary to law provided that the thing which intoxicated him was administered to him without his knowledge or against his will under section 86 of ipc offense requiring a particular intent or knowledge committed by one who is intoxicated in cases where an act done is not an offence unless done with a particular knowledge or intent a person who does the act in a state of intoxication shall be liable to be dealt with as if he had the same knowledge as he would have had if he had not been intoxicated unless the thing which intoxicated him was administered to him without his knowledge or against his will ingredients the ingredients of sections 85 and 86 are that a person will be exonerated from liability for an act done while in a state of intoxication if he at the time of doing it by reason of intoxication was incapable of knowing the nature of the act or that he was not in a state of mind to know that the act was either wrong or contrary to law and that the thing which intoxicated him was administered to him without his knowledge or against his will and that voluntary drunkenness is not excuse for the commission of a crime burden of proof lies upon the accused next moving on to the conclusion after much research on the topic it can be said that intoxication is not a very strong defense and even if it is serves to mitigate the severity of a punishment it cannot exculpate a person from liability this is essential because absolute and cold logic cannot be applied to human affairs as they require certain flexibility in their dealing a common man will not have much regard for the law if a drunken man batters him and the man gets away with his conduct merely because he was too intoxicated to think clearly in india as well the law that has been followed till date has its foundation in the british law the first categorical difference is that in case of british law the defense of intoxication is not codified under any specific section while under the indian law it has been clearly codified in sections 85 and 86 of the indian penal code in indian law the clause that the drug has to be administered against the will of the individual is given much more importance it is under the british law also the dichotomy between specific intent and basic intent is given a lot of importance in case of british law the severity of the punishment of an individual can be given and reduced due to this in indian law as well this exception is applicable as well as an exception in the case the individual's mind is deceased this portion of our law 
is very similar to the British law. As a matter of fact, the cases that have been cited as authority are also British. The second factor that can be considered in the case is that in the Indian criminal law, the difference has been made very clear between the intention and knowledge of an individual. Even in British law, the specific intent and the basic intent dichotomy has been elaborated, but they have not given an exclusive difference between the knowledge and intent. The English law has evolved over a series of cases and it has come a long way from the rigid law that it was earlier. In the early 19th century, alcohol would never have been able to serve as a defense. Rather, it would have had a reverse effect and this shows us how much the law has progressed in this aspect over a period of time. Now, some of the case studies. First is Venkappa Kanappa Chaudhary versus the state of Karnataka. The accused, quarrelsome by nature, was addicted to liquor. The son of the accused died in a motor accident. The accused wanted the compensation amount of 10,000 rupees, which was in the name of the accused's wife. On the day of the decision, he came home drunk and asked his wife to withdraw the fixed deposit amount. When his wife refused to comply, he beat her, took a tin of kerosene oil, sprinkled it on her and set her on fire. His wife screamed and the neighbors took her to the hospital. A dying declaration was recorded. The accused took the plea of incapacity due to intoxication under Section 85 of IPC. His plea was rejected because he had voluntarily consumed alcohol. He was convicted and sentenced to life imprisonment. Next is Mavari Surya Satyanarayan versus State of Andhra Pradesh. The accused and the deceased were married for 11 years. He was an alcoholic and quarreled often with her. One day, he came home drunk and asked her to sign on some blank papers. When she refused, he pulled her by her hair and dragged her into the room and attempted to set fire on her. The deceased put out the flames and tried to run away. The accused again pulled her, poured kerosene and set fire to her. The deceased died of the burns. The Andhra Pradesh High Court, relying on the Supreme Court's decision in Basude v. State of Pepsu, held that having regard to the facts, it couldn't be said that the accused was in total loss of mental power and hence the provisions of Section 85 will not apply. Mistake regarding nature of substance consumed. Facts. The accused was convicted of indecent assault. He defended himself by saying that he was so drunk at that time that he had been unable to comprehend what he had been doing. He had been given a drink by a friend in a public house and had been later offered wine. He had not realized that the wine had high alcohol content and the accused had consumed it without being aware of that fact. It was in that state of mind that the accused had committed assault. Judgment The judge in this case held that involuntary intoxication could serve as a defense in a crime of the nature that the accused had committed. Reason In this case, there is nothing to prove that the intoxication was involuntary, for the accused had consumed the alcohol with his friend, and it seemed 
that he had done so willingly enough. Moreover, the argument that was given by the accused was that he was not aware of the alcohol content of the wine that he had drunk and it had a much higher content than he had expected. He cannot be absolved from liability on this basis. Next is Salman Khan's 2002 hit and run case. Bollywood actor Salman Khan's blood had alcohol content after he was made to undergo a test in the 2002 hit and run case. According to a chemical analysis expert who testified in a Mumbai Sessions court on Wednesday, the expert claimed in the court that the alcohol content found in Salman Khan's blood was higher than normal. I also conducted the morphine test which showed positive results. 62 milligrams of ethyl alcohol was found in Salman Khan's blood, said the expert. Earlier, in the 2002 hit and run case, a witness identified the actor during the previous hearing and had told the court that he saw Salman Khan taking the driver's seat. The witness, a JW Marriott parking assistant, had said that the actor got behind the wheel of the land cruiser at the hotel. He had also stated that Salman Khan tipped him rupees 500, adding that he was accompanied by three friends. The hit and run incident dates back to 2002, in which one person had died while four others had been injured. Salman Khan was charged with an additional charge of culpable homicide not amounting to murder, that is, liable for a maximum 10-year imprisonment. In May 2015, Salman Khan found guilty and sent to jail for five years. So dear students, let us summarize what we have learned in this module. About 60% of property and violent crimes are committed after consuming any drug including alcohol. And this is why studying alcohol in detail is very very important and significant as a forensic scientist. We studied that under the 7th schedule of Indian constitution, alcohol is mentioned as a subject matter in the state list. And thus regulations regarding alcohol they vary amongst different states in India. We also studied that those specific days when the sale and purchase of alcohol is banned are known as dry days. If you look at nationwide, in India the national holidays like Republic Day, Gandhi Jayanti, Independence Day, they are generally the dry days. And when we talk about the states, festivals of different states, they also observe dry days. And these are fixed by the respective state government and it is done with the intention to maintain peace and order during these festival days. We also studied that public intoxication is an offence related to display of drunkenness in public places. Laws and ordinances at local as well as state levels consider public intoxication as an offence. A person is guilty of the offence of public intoxication if he appears to be intoxicated either by alcohol or by any other drug in a public place to such an extent that he may cause harm to anybody else or property of himself or of any other person. BSE limits are fixed at 0.03% to 35 microliters alcohol per 100 ml of blood. Any person whose BSE values are detected more than this limit, he or she will be liable for imprisonment of 6 months and a fine about rupees 2000 as per the current laws. Across the world, 
acceptable values of BAC varies among different countries. As BAC rises, there is a gradual decline in the driving skills due to the impaired concentration, overconfidence, increased reaction time, degraded muscle coordination and decreased auditory and visual sensitivity which all have impact on the driving. As per IPC that is Indian Penal Code, Section 85 and 86 they deal with those acts which are done by a person in the state of intoxication.